You may become a legal adult when you're 18, but scientists say, 18, a grown up? Yeah, right. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. Question, when does someone grow up? It's a philosophical question. It could have to do with the life experiences someone has and the wisdom they gain from those experiences. It's also a scientific question. Being a grown up is related to how mature you are, or more specifically, how developed your brain is. For years, scientists have known that the human brain is not fully developed until around the age of 25. Although we have all of our gray matter, which includes cell bodies and neurons, nerve fibers, and support cells, by the time we're 12, it takes more than a decade for all that matter to become fully wired and pruned for efficiency. So this is a process called neuromaturation and scientists believe it's the reason why teens in general, okay, in general, share some common behaviors. So I'm talking about things like sensation seeking, risk taking, and needing to be accepted by their peers. So the teenage brain is going through a lot of critical transformations, particularly in the prefrontal cortex, which is one of the last areas of the brain to fully mature. It's responsible for executive functions like goal setting, paying attention, motivation, planning, understanding consequences, and having self-control. So the fact that these functions are underdeveloped is part of why teenagers tend to engage in risky and impulsive behaviors like experimenting with drugs and alcohol, having unprotected sex, speeding, and doing stupid things that drive their parents a little cray cray. Right around puberty, the brain's dopaminergic reward centers also become highly active and slowly wither out as you become an adult. This makes teenagers especially prone to peer pressure. The reward centers are super sensitive to social approval or disapproval. One study found that a 20 year old was 50 50% more likely than a fully grown adult to do something risky if two peers were watching. Scientists have also found that brain circuitry responsible for emotional responses are changing, making teens more responsive to emotionally loaded situations than both children and adults. So teenagers might seem like they're being really dramatic with their emotions, but the reality is they're experiencing them very intensely. They're also experiencing a lot of feelings for the first time, which can exaggerate their intensity further. Intellectually speaking, the capacity to learn will never be as high as it is when you're a teenager, and their intellectual power and ability to do mental tasks is already right up there with adults. So I think there's a tendency for grown-ups to become impatient and dismiss teens as stupid, immature, and incapable, but it helps to remember that teens are undergoing a lot of neurodevelopment. It's all a part of the natural process where a human moves from dependence on caregivers to an independent, fully functional adult, which is obviously a really important time, and in my opinion, is well deserving of a little extra love and patience. Thanks for joining me for D News. Now you have the scientific end, but I want to know philosophically, what do you think makes someone a grown-up? Share your insights down below, and we'll see you next time.